Hey everybody, Chris Cook in Nashville here. We're going to make some cheesy bacon chicken thighs, the winner of the YouTube poll for the recipe you guys most wanted to see. So here I have six chicken thighs. These are boneless and skinless on my cutting board. And all I'm going to do is take a sharp knife. I'm going to trim off some of that extra fat. You don't really have to do this. I just think it tastes a little bit better if you take some of those extra fat pieces. You kind of get a piece of fat on each side of the chicken thighs, usually, if you buy them this way. So I just like to take that extra piece, cut that off, and then I'll put that in a bag, and I'll cook that down later so we can use some chicken fat to fry some things. Flip it around there. You can kind of see just cut that extra fat off of the end. No big deal. And that's a clean chicken thigh. Okay, once my chicken thighs have all been trimmed, I'm going to take a meat mallet. I'm going to pound them out thinner. I like to use the pointy side there. I think it just tenderizes the chicken thigh a little bit more, and you'll see what we're going to do with that in a minute. But we're just going to pound this out. Now, I'm shooting for about a quarter of an inch uh, you don't have to pound it out that thin. It just cooks a little bit faster, a little more evenly. I like how that turns out. You can see the dog is hanging out waiting to see if any chicken is going to fly off the board and end up on the floor. She gets real excited when I start working in the kitchen. So we're basically just going to pound these out. And you can see here, once that's done, it's pretty flat all the way around. We just don't want any big lumps or bumps that are going to cook unevenly. You can see it's, it's probably around a quarter of an inch. So we're going to do that with all six, and you can see once I'm done, I have my chicken fat trimmings. I have little pieces there, and then I have the chicken thighs. So now I'm going to take the egg in this recipe. I'm going to separate two of them. I've got two yolks in a bowl, and then I've got two whites in another bowl. We're going to use the two egg whites. The two yolks can be used elsewhere. Here's my seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, black pepper, chili powder, paprika. You can use whatever seasonings you want. I just like these and some salt. And I'm just going to put in a sprinkle couple of sprinkles actually, a couple of good sized pinches of salt into the egg whites and then I'll sprinkle in the rest of those seasonings as well. I'm also going to add just a couple of tablespoons, maybe one to two tablespoons of water to the egg whites and there I've added in the other seasonings. Just season this to your taste. It's however much you want to use or you don't have to use seasonings at all. I'm going to whisk these egg whites up really well. That salt is going to help break down the egg whites, and you're going to see what this egg white mixture is going to do. It's actually going to help tenderize these chicken thighs. It's fantastic when you do it this way. Once it's nice and frothy and really well combined, I'm going to go ahead and put my pounded out chicken thighs into this egg white mixture. Okay, I'm just lay them in there. We're going to get them nice and coated. I'm going to put all of them in there. Now, what this is going to do is it's going to actually raise the pH because egg whites by themselves are alkaline. It's going to raise the pH of the chicken. It's going to actually tenderize the meat even further. So not only did we pound it out, we're going to tenderize it with egg whites. So we're going to put all the chicken thighs in there. I'm going to roll them and flip them around, and I'm really massaging that egg white mixture into the chicken thighs. Now, this also has all of our seasoning, which means all of our seasoning is going to really stick. So we're going to get a good coating on the chicken thighs. You can see it is on both sides, really well coated. And then we're going to let this sit for about 30 minutes in a bowl, just like this. You can let it sit up to an hour or two, but 30 minutes is enough. While that's doing its thing, I'm going to go ahead and turn on my broiler. I'm going to put that on. It's 525 on the top broil setting. While it's heating up, I'm actually going to take a little pinch of lard. This is just plain snow cap lard your pig fat, you can use bacon grease, whatever you want. And I'm just going to grease up a cookie sheet. This is something you don't actually have to do, but it does make cleanup a little bit easier if you put a little bit of grease on your cookie sheet. After the chicken thighs have rested for about 30 minutes, we're going to go ahead and take them out and I'm going to lay them nice and flat on the cookie sheet. Now we want all that egg white mixture still on them because that has all of our seasoning in it. The chicken thighs have brined a little. That's holding all the seasoning on there, and it's going to help these brown. So we're going to put all six chicken thighs onto a cookie sheet just like this. And then I'm actually going to grab a little Parmesan cheese and put just a light sprinkle. You don't have to do this. I really like doing this. You get a nice umami flavor. It also browns under the broiler, and it gives you a really roasty thing going on on the top of the chicken thighs. So a light sprinkle. You can see I'm not using very much. It's just a little bit, just enough to create a browning effect, which you'll see when this comes out of the oven. Okay, so the chicken thighs are going to go under that broiler. My oven is very well preheated. 
I'm going to put it under that broiler, and I'm going to set a timer for eight minutes. Now, it's going to actually cook longer than this, but I'm going to check it at eight minutes. Always check your broiler. Then I'm going to take some streaky bacon here. I've got six pieces. I like to use one piece of bacon for every chicken thigh. I'm just going to lay these out on a cutting board. You can use more or less bacon however you want. And then I'm just going to start cutting these in slices, uh, cutting them up in little pieces. You can see just kind of cutting them about between a quarter and a half and an inch through cut up all of those bacon strips, and then we're going to fry them up. So we're going to get a skillet on the stove. I've got this on like a medium heat. You don't want to cook this too high because you don't want to burn these small pieces of bacon. You can just dump all the pieces of bacon in. They will separate as they cook. Okay, we're going to get those into the skillet, and we're just going to kind of poke the spatula down into them as they're cooking. That'll help break those pieces apart, and as they cook, they will separate. We want these to be brown, but don't get them too crispy because then the texture doesn't really seem to work with the chicken as well. You want to keep them browned but a little softer. So you can see as they're cooking, all of those pieces are starting to break apart. You can also cook whole strips and cut them up. I just find this to be easier. So here's the chicken thighs after eight minutes, and they're looking really, really good. They're just about cooked, but I want them a little browner, so I'm going to put those back in. Here's my bacon. It's basically done. You can see it's all separated. It's brown. All that fat has come out, so I'm just going to scoop that out, drain that on some paper towel. Everything will be good. Now here's my chicken coming out. This was an additional four minutes, so that's a total of 12 minutes under the broiler, and look at how brown that little sprinkle of Parmesan cheese and egg white got. Okay, in this bowl, I've got a couple of tablespoons of a jalapeno ranch I made from the butter mayo. That link for that video is down below to learn how to make the butter mayo and also the ranch. I've got a couple of tablespoons. I'm just going to brush a little bit of ranch over top of these chicken thighs. You do not have to do this if you want to be clean carnivore. You can omit any seasonings. You can omit this dressing, whatever you want to do, but I think this makes it really nice. We're just going to brush some on each of the chicken thighs so they have a thin coating of that butter mayo ranch dressing. Once that's done, we're going to take our bacon pieces that have drained, and I'm just going to sprinkle bacon over top of each of the pieces of chicken. That ranch dressing also helps hold on to that bacon a little bit, which is really nice. So we're just going to split that bacon up amongst those chicken thighs. Once we've got them covered with bacon, the last element we need to put on there is our cheese. And I just have some pre-sliced cheese here. You can use any kind of cheese you want. I'm using Colby Jack, and I'm just taking the slices. I'm breaking them in half. I just find the sliced cheese to be convenient. But I'm putting about one slice of cheese per chicken thigh. Lay it across there. Make sure they're all covered. And then all we have to do is stick this back in the oven under the broiler. Okay, I'm going to slide it in there. You can see it's pretty close to that broiler right there. And I'm going to broil these for a total of four minutes. It does not take nearly as long. What's really nice is you can cook this ahead of time and then stick it back in there. And in that four minutes, that chicken will warm back up. And look at that cheesy bacon chicken coming out of the oven. This is absolutely fantastic. It tastes incredible. It's easy to do it in large batches. It's not particularly difficult. You can make it ahead of time and then just add the cheese and you're good to go. And there is our cheesy bacon chicken. I put a little sprinkle of parsley on top just to make it look nice. Guys, make sure to try this recipe. Leave a like and a comment below. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, all that fun stuff. And let me know what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching. This is Chris Cook in Nashville. You guys have a great day.